math on Jar Jar has completely changed. Now, one thing that we do know here is um, that they're trying something new with these new marquees, and I can't for certain say that it's going to be exactly the same for every single one of the four Gungans, but we did hear in the road ahead um, that they are trying something with the tiering of, and the structure and that it would work for all of them. Will they decide to change it for uh, Captain Tarble slightly? Maybe. I have no idea. But my my idea, my thought here is that they're uh, trying to see if they can incentivize people spending more money on these characters. And while each person themselves will spend less money, more people will decide to go for those characters. Um, and after the Gungans, they'll kind of see if they want to change things further. So this post is an update to the math post on Whaling on Jar Jar that he did just a couple of days ago. Um, this is going to be based on the assumption that everything going on with the Boss Nass uh, marquee event is going to be the same for the three marquees coming up. So the things that are a little bit different that we need to know, number one, is that Boss Nass has a five shard web pack in the web store. That is a one-time thing. Number two is that the marquee itself gives more shards. So you get 55 from the first tier and you get an additional 10 from the second tier, which means that overall, you actually only have to farm 260 shards instead of 280 shards. The other interesting thing here is that at T3 to T6 of this new reward structure, there are additional bonuses. Some of those bonuses are one time each, okay? And some of those bonuses are a daily play thing. At T3, you get five shards as a one-time bonus, but also five shards per day for the remainder of the event, as long as you go back and you play the event every single day. What's interesting about that, of course, is that if you play today, you're gonna to get a total of 40 more shards if you just buy two marquee packs, okay? Um, it doesn't matter what you get from them because you'll be at 20 of 30, and if you get two of the lowest rolls, you'll get five and five, you'll still get the 30 of 30, um, and basically what'll end up happening is you will get a cost basis of 64 crystals per shard instead of the normal shipment cost basis of 80 crystals per shard, right? And that's important because you're saving on the actual marquee itself as well by doing the packs this way. Here's where everything gets a little bit crazy. A couple of days ago, um, on Saturday morning, I believe it was, I released a video detailing, based on historic data, what this might look like if you wanna get Jar Jar on day one. All right, just to remind you, worst case scenario, about 148,000 crystals, $900 spent. Middle ground scenario where we did a little bit more extrapolating and looking at the data itself, 120,000 crystals, $730, uh, $730 spent. Best case scenario, and this is assuming that you want it by the end of a Jar Jar Binks event of seven days, not that you want it on exactly day one, It'll take you 91,000 crystals or $550 worth um, in value. We did a little bit of an update today, and I, I recrunched the numbers based on the fact that you buy two marquee packs in the very beginning, that we get five free um, shards from uh, the web store, right? And that those daily play. Uh, shards continue to happen for the marquees going forward. This is what it looks like. At worst case scenario, instead of 148,000 crystals, you're only spending 113,000 crystals, $690 instead of $900. Pretty good, right? Middle ground, so where we've done a little bit more extrapol extrapolating, um, instead of spending, let's just double check it so I'm not quoting the wrong numbers, 120,000 crystals, we're spending 83,000 crystals, or sorry, 86,000 crystals, and about $522 worth of value. Now the best case scenario adds just a little bit of extra oomph to those numbers, and um, 
kind of pads it so that you're getting it at the end of an event cycle versus getting it at um, the very beginning of an um, event cycle. Instead of those 91,000 crystals, you're actually only spending 57,000 crystals or $345. Now, I'm not telling you to go out and spend $345 on this game. It's absolutely not what I'm telling you. But what I am telling you is that if you are a later game player and you're really looking forward to Jar Jar and you're saving your crystals, and keep in mind you're getting about 20 to 30,000 crystals per month um, this is a lot more obtainable than it was before I can't guarantee that the marquees after boss Nass are gonna look exactly like this but in the past when we've talked about patterns and when meathead has released uh, road aheads we have seen each cycle be pretty similar to everything else within a cycle unless they specifically mentioned they were trying something different for something specific so I believe Baby Cal and Seer, they both got a pack, but Saw, Tarful, and Merin did not. However, when Cal first came out, they did specifically say they were trying something new for those two characters specifically. In the road ahead, we were told Gungans, right? So in my head, that implies all four of them are going to see the same structure, all right? Um, with that said, I hope that helps everybody. My goal is to get in day one. I really want to see it happen. Um, I've been doing live streams all week. Uh, come join us, have some fun, uh, contribute to the Jar Jar Fun, do whatever you got to do. Um, peace out.